In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a landing page step-by-step -step with System.io. You don't need any design skills or experience with System.io or any other funnel building software because I'm going to show you exactly how you can build a professionally designed squeeze page for your sales funnel from your very first login to the finished page. Before we get started, do be aware I go at a fast pace, so if you're watching this tutorial and doing the steps with me, be ready to hit the pause button or slow the play speed in places so you can see exactly what I'm doing. With that said, let's go! System.io is a fantastic tool for anyone starting an online business. Go here for a free account or see links below. From your System.io dashboard, select Funnels and then Create. Give your funnel a name, choose Build an Audience and then Create. You'll now see all these squeeze page templates, scroll right to the bottom and select this one. Then in the dashboard that opens up, click the edit icon. We're now in our workspace and on the left are our settings and drag and drop modules. We're going to start by changing this single column row into two columns. From the left hand side, drag the two column module into the top of this row. Then delete this image below by clicking on the trash icon. Now drag a text module into the first column and an image module into the second. Click on the image to change the key line from orange to blue and then click here to open your file library. Upload your logo and insert it. Change the size over here in the settings. Now select the text in the first column and paste in your footer legal text. Scroll through the settings to change the alignment and then tweak the text size. To set default typography for the page, go up here to settings at the top. You can then choose the font and set the format for all text boxes. Going back to the footer, click to select the section and then in the settings first set your inner background colour and then add a background colour and trim the padding so that you create this band across the top. Now click anywhere on your page to get back to the modules dashboard and drag a section to the top. As with the footer, set the inner background colour first and then the background colour and trim the padding but this time with the band across the bottom. Drag an image module into the row you just added and then insert your logo. Back in the footer I have black text on black so I need to select all this text that I can't see and then here in the elements and menu bar set the colour to white. Now for the headline drag a row to the top under your header and then click this text headline module and drag it into the row. Increase the font size and replace the text with your own headline. And set the font that you want to use and then set the alignment to centered. To change the background color, click to select the section, then set the color to white. Now hover over this text module and click the trash icon. And drag a new text module under the headline and paste in your own subhead. Set the font and the size and then use the module's own menu bar to make the text bold and set the colour. Let's now set the headline width to match the rest of the page. Click off to the side to select the section and then scroll down the settings until you find content width. Change full page to medium. You can now adjust the font size and line height for the headline and tweak the margin spacing in between the modules. Now drag a new text module to the top of this column and replace the text with your own. Next click the bullet list module below and paste in your own bullet points. I'm going to just tweak the font size and adjust the spacing in between the sections to tighten things up a bit. Next add a new row just above the footer and drag this button into it. Now click on this arrow image and I'm going to replace it with an image of this quote and headshot. Now for the main offer pick, and in goes my affiliate marketing ebook. Next, drag a new text module right under the image and paste in your own text. And as this is a caption, I'm going to format the text so it looks a bit different and tweak the padding. Now let's work on this button. I'm going to reduce the padding around it and change the button text. Set the font and make it a bit bolder and set the styling. I'm going to make it this colour and change the border to bottom only and add a blurry shadow. Now let's add some links behind these words in the footer. I'll make these bold. Now with the words highlighted click this icon in the menu bar to open the URL box. Paste in your link then click this icon with a red dot to save it. Now I'll do these which link to the legal pages. I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller and tweak the margin. Now back to the button. 
Click on it, then look up here to see the action. You want it set to show pop-up. To edit the default pop-up, click pop-ups at the top and then the eyeball icon. Let's just highlight that so we can see it better. First, let's delete this text module at the bottom. Now I'm going to edit and style this button to match the one on the page. Change the button text, font, padding, background color, border, and shadow. Next, click on the headline to change the text and tweak the formatting. And the same for this text. To collect a first name as well as an email address, move the cursor to this box, then click this icon to copy the module. Click to see the settings and then change the field here to first name. Now drag an image module above the headline and add your main offer image. To make this pop-out stand out a bit more, click here to open the pop-up settings and then add a border. And that's it! Save your work and click here to preview your finished landing page and test the button. So there you have it, a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a professionally designed landing page with System.io. If you'd like to use my design without having to do any of the work yourself, see below for how to get this as a complete ready-to-customize funnel with landing page and thank you bridge page in both desktop and mobile versions completely free. Do be aware if you are creating your funnel yourself, I've only covered the desktop version in this video and I recommend you tweak things to optimize for mobile. You can see exactly how to do that in my follow on tutorial, how to optimize the mobile version of your landing page with System.io.